Hello again everyone, welcome back to Demon's Souls. I just did a bit of farming off camera, got my bow up to plus three, sticky. Uh, which may come in handy against the next boss. It's a bit of a dick of a boss, but... Uh, world 3-2. Okie dokie. Now this place... I don't know if it's quite as big as World 5 too, but it's... kind of convoluted. It's certainly not as maze-like as 3-1. Uh, so it's got that going for it. Actually I don't need to come down here yet, because this is on the way back anyway. Um. Oh! Just about run right off the edge. There we go. Uh, down here. Now I can see that one on the left there has uh, glowing eyes. <laughs> that thieves ring we're on, which is probably going to mess things up. It's really annoying that these guys can fly, actually. Um, because they have a tendency to just fly away. Obviously, if I step off the edge, it's instant death, but uh, not so much for them. And I cannot for the life of me remember where they all are, and some of them have crossbows. I guess you can't backstab them. <laughs> and they have a tendency to drop the uh, those soul items as well. Not sure if it's guaranteed, but it seems to be very common. Uh, is there anything over here? I don't remember. I don't, uh, well, there's a door there. There's an item. There's some old spice there. Probably not too useful for me. Moonlight stone. Uh, that treasure there. I've got a feeling that that's uh, the rune sword and shield that Estrava uses. I can't actually remember. Uh, actually, I don't think I can get very far down here, so there's probably not much point going this way. Uh, there is a possibility I might see that corpse again later. <laughs> not guaranteed. Uh, yeah, that's blocked. We need to come to that later. But, uh, just try and avoid rolling here, because otherwise I'll Go right off the edge. For a renowned hero's soul. <laughs> Stay out of here. Oh, oh yeah, see, crossbow. He's just going to keep flying away like a bitch. Oh, I can't move. Where are you? Way up there, yeah. More moonlight stone. Uh, I think this is another dead end. More moonlight stone. I really don't need moonlight stone. Yeah, that's what you get for being a little bitch. Right, um, yes, we didn't actually need to come down here yet. Now I think I, in one of the earlier episodes, I was saying in the stone fang tunnel, right near the, the arch stone and the, the merchant there, there's a tower off to the left, and I was wondering if that was Latria. I don't think it is, 
Um, the geography doesn't really make sense. Uh, Stone Fang Tunnel is much more arid and orange this place and bright. This place is very dark and swampy. And also the architecture is not really the same. Uh, these towers are more round, whereas that tower I think is more square. So I, yeah, I don't think it is. Now I think this is where I could see that. Somewhere down there, you can, yeah, there. Uh, but I'm almost certain that that's the Rune Sword and Shield, and which you can get later anyway. Much later, but later nonetheless. Uh, that's the way to the boss, which we can't get to. That glowing yellow smoke over there. We'll come to that soon enough. Assuming I don't get the shit kicked out of me. Oops. Queued up a few too many attacks then. Spam that R1 button. Now, are you going to shoot? I think you are. Yes. Clip the end of it there. Uh, what's this? It's a flamberge. Well, I don't need that. Um, get in my way. I can't see where the ground is. Ooh, oh, you dearie me. Yeah, well, get lost then, really. Come through here just so we're less likely to fall off. <laughs> oh, there is another one. I knew there was somewhere. Spiral rapier. I don't think I've ever seen a spiral rapier before. I didn't even know such a thing existed. A hero of spiral grooves carved in the blaze, a weapon of choice of the stone gargoyles in Latria. It is meant to inflict pain and cause bleeding rather than deal damage, which provides a glimpse into the insanity of the old monk. There you go. So, does it do bleed damage, does it? Special effects. Bleed. Huh. Interesting. Don't remember ever seeing one of those before. Uh, that item out there, I believe, is spice. Shimmy around. Get off me! These gargoyles, they're so clingy. You want to think they wanted a commitment or something. And yes, that was spice. So, not very useful for me. Um, yeah, I don't... I mean, I wouldn't mind having about a hundred or more magic points, but I don't know how many more level ups I'd need to put into intelligence to get that, and uh, really isn't what I want with this character, so... Maybe New Game Plus. Don't believe there's anything around there. The other side, but... I need to go up here. Very long elevator ride here. I didn't even use any grass, and uh, I'm already healed. You, uh, you are going to come for it and cop it right in the face. So, up here we go. I believe you need pure white to get any further up here. Yeah, I don't have it. It's, uh, there's a key up there, and I believe that is something to do with Lord Constipation. And here's all that... Uh, I don't know if this is the same one. There are two of them. Anyway, these guys... They're up to no good. So we'll get rid of them. get a cutscene. Uh, 
to you too. Alright. You want to drop anything? That's the only drop. Alright. Well, we can keep going down here then. And this? What is this? Oh, spice. Is this always here? I don't remember this. Is this an element? Oh, well, bugger me! I always thought you had to keep going down there to get the elevators. Ha! Huh. You learn something new every day. Uh, I will be going back up because we bypassed something very important by coming down this one. be quite close to where you need to go, not sure. But anyway... Back up we go. I'm not uh, hugely fond of that motion blur effect they put on it. it. Didn't quite work. I don't think it's quite what they were hoping for. But anyway, Jesus, there are multiples. Um, but we want to actually come down here and try not to miss the jump here. Nothing there. Shard of Archstone. Um. These uh, orbits of guidance you can see up there, they obviously lead you down this way. And we see this guy here. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. Up until a few moments ago, I thought you actually had no choice. If you wanted to proceed, you had to do this. But, uh,. I guess you don't, after all. Anyway. Thank you. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. Now, oh, yes, spoiler alert. Um, kill him. He's a dick. Uh, I'm going to leave him for the moment because I'll go and fight him back in the Nexus. I, You can kill him here and just kick him right off. I believe if you let him go back to the Nexus... Well, eventually he'll kill all your NPCs, so you don't want that. But I believe you can get some more treasures out of him first. So I'll do it that way. Anyway, this is another of these elevators. There are plenty of them, apparently. Who knew? Alright, now, fortunately this goo doesn't poison you or do anything like that. There are a few treasures down here, I don't remember what they are. And there is another one of those massive souls things. I say mass of souls, not massive souls. Uh, like there was in 3-1, uh, that big conglomeration of body parts that spits uh, magic soul arrow, whatever, is that you? A fragrant ring. Oh, that helps restore magic points, I think. Probably not something I care. I think that was the one that the once royal mistress was selling too. So obviously you don't need to buy one if you can just come and find one. Alright, so eventually I need to work my way up. There. Uh, I don't actually recall there being anything of particular importance down here, with the possible exception of that ring. There's that massive souls, and I don't think I'll... Well, I can't remember the treasures over there. Mm, 
mercury stone. I don't care about mercury stone. Maybe I'll look up what those treasures are and decide if it's important enough for me to get. But I suspect not. Now, somehow... Here we go. And these are particularly disturbing. I think they're called man centipedes or something like that. And these big ones are super weird because you... Oh, it looks like I'm one hitting them. Uh, but if you give them enough damage, their heads just split off. And the heads keep fighting. That's <laughs> weird. Oh, there's one there. I missed you. Looks like you don't... Oh, damn it. <laughs> now i got to find my way back on again. <laughs> Alright, I can come up here. Uh, now, where I was first... I can't remember. There, I think. Is this... I think that's forwards. So let me just check. These treasures. Oh, that, those gargoyles that, are, that I killed way up there and fell down. Uh, sometimes you can find their corpses down here. <laughs> this is where they end up falling anyway. So if you desperately after whatever it is they drop and they keep falling off the edge where did I need to go? Was it up here? I can't remember. Well, obviously to there. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you can see a fog gate that's probably where you need to get to. Oh, you're alive. And I nearly fell off again. Okay. Oh, there's a few of them here. And they do have an attack, they spit stuff at you. I'm not sure if it's poison or breaks your equipment or what. But it's something to be aware of. No. Not putting things into my quick use slots, which is good. In there. Uh, I've got a feeling these are black phantom octopus head thing up here. The other way. Be very quiet and we can sneak up on it. There he is. You turn around. Thank you, these ring. Spice? Spice. <laughs> uh, ooh, can't remember if there's another one. There's a crystal lizard in here somewhere, but uh, it's kind of at the point where you've got too many of these things to deal with. And it's probably going to drop dark, there it is, dark moonstone or something, so I probably don't need to worry about it. Is there another one there? Yes. <laughs> the ragdoll it uh, grab the um, grab the body. Nah, all right. So here goes a head, and there goes a spit. I think that might have been a push, which I didn't really want to do.
space and somewhere just out here I remember it distinctly leave one with the red eyes but there's no one there you are oh and you got a crossbow which means you probably won't come anywhere near me well screw you prick Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> they mobbed me. Oh, and there is another one. Oh, there's, oh, there's heaps. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got them both. <laughs> I can't see a thing. There's wings everywhere. Get off. <laughs> uh oh, what's this? Story soldier's soul. Oh, it does go all the way around. Whoops, missed it. Don't want to drop down there by the way. Is there anything on the other side? I had a feeling these Hmm. Okay. I suppose it stands to reason, it is round. You know, kind of logical that you'd end up going all the way around. Regenerator's ring for the win! Since we're waiting. How much grass do I have? Not heaps, but probably enough. I have to go and buy some more half moon grass. Probably going to be more of those gargoyles attacking me here. I don't remember, but it seems like the thing, they, the sort of thing they'd like to do. Guess not. And here's the other magic yellow smoke brazier thing. All of them. Get another cutscene. That's a bit gross. I don't know what they were doing in there in the first place. <laughs> that was a bit of a belated death cry there. Uh, I'm going to go this way now. And... This should be right back to the start of the level. You can see the archstone up there just on the right. You can see you. Kill you. Another spiral rapier. Never seen them before. Don't remember ever getting one in my last playthrough. Not that way. Don't remember ever seeing anyone else get one either. And now I've got two. <laughs> And all those scorpion things should start appearing. Here they are. It's like sushi. <laughs> it's gross. Um, anyway, we've now opened up the path to the boss up there. Um, exactly see where it is. But we also opened up a little extra bit down here where I was before. So the answer to the question 
do I need to go down here yet? That I asked at the start of this episode, earlier on. The answer was no. Come here later. And how many of these things there are? Neither. Forty-nine souls. Terrible. Now this has opened up, I think. Yeah, we can get in here. So. I, I assume that was some sort of demonic heart sort of a thing. Um, you can hear the, the bloop 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 sort of heartbeat. Although it sounds a bit better <laughs> the real one in game sounds a lot better than that noise I just made uh, and I think it stops when you drop the heart I can't actually hear it at the moment because uh, my volume is not very loud right now bit of a glitch in there you can see the, the split in his body ring of avarice Grinding ring. Get more souls. Very useful in grinding. Gold mask. I uh, can trade that to Crowy McCore face. Sparkly. Um, for a, a colourless demon soul. Uh, I believe the NPC Mephistopheles wears that. It's. Even on the master side, it takes hours power souls. I mean, there's a pretty high amount of there. Blah blah blah. Um, I'm not going to be doing the Mephistopheles stuff. You need pure black character tendency, which requires you basically kill a bunch of merchants and, and and NPCs and things just to get black character tendency, and then you have to assassinate all other more important NPCs like your trainers and things. So. Not something I particularly care to do. I don't know if there's a trophy for it or anything. There might be, if you're interested in platinuming the game. But, that's, for the most part, this level. Um, just the boss left, I think. bit that was blocked somewhere up here and there's more of those uh, squid face phantoms up here I don't know if it's going to be easy to get around them or there's one I do have the thieves ring still so I don't know where your patrol route is That. Uh, is there another one? God, I hope not. This is really high. <laughs> that guy's a bit nervous. <laughs> Must have been it. All right. Are there any treasures? I think there's treasures here somewhere. I think it's only spice, though. Actually, now that I come to think of it. Fog gate, boss. And yes, just uh, just spice. Alright, this boss is the man-eaters. Probably the most annoying boss. Not necessarily the most difficult. I personally think Flame Lurker and False King are probably harder. 
but that's because they're really aggressive and this boss is in fact the opposite of that. He really runs away a lot where you can't do anything, which is extremely annoying. And you're also stuck on a very narrow sort of a ledge here. And apparently he doesn't stagger either. Oh no, you don't want to get hit by that if you're close to the edge. You can knock his tail off. Did he just disappear? Oh, he's way up there. Now I do have the Thieves Ring on which is going to cause problems because he'll lose aggro and fly away, but even without the Thieves Ring it's still just a pain and it's worse because a second one will turn up. Where are you? Get back here. Oops. Uh, you can cut his tail off. Which will reduce some of his attacks if he can get there, of course. Not easy. Uh oh, get away, get away. Now, where are you? If you can kill one quickly, then the other one's not so bad. I mean, they do things like that. If you cut their tail off, you can stop that. Problem is... I don't seem able to cut his tail off. And I'm not sure how long it's going to... There, there's the other one. That's why it's a pain, because now there's two, and I don't know which one's which. And they're just going to keep flying away, like dicks. out of it there actually. So they can very easily knock you off. Right, that's one. That makes this less difficult, but it's still a pain. Very careful of that move. Very easily knock you off the edge. He's gonna keep flying away. Gonna hit a dick. That's why it helps to have a bow in this fight. I'd like to get his Yes, got his tail. Good. That should get rid of his uh magic attacks and if you want to glitch out there I don't mind <laughs> well some of his magic attacks anyway not, not sure if that uh, little attack he just was just doing then can knock you off it might be able to <laughs> yes I'll just keep doing that <laughs> noise <laughs> Run going on. Helps to use this brazier as a barrier. Although they can hit through it sometimes. Some of their attacks will just clip right through. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Actually, I think he missed me then. I thought he hit me. Thieves Ring can help if you're having trouble with these guys because it means they'll sort of lose focus and one of them will fly away. You usually only get one on you at a time if you're doing that. So. You've got to be very careful rolling because it's just so easy for them to knock you off. Anyway, that's that. I think that's forwards, but there is a treasure somewhere here. Uh, 
I've got a feeling it's a moon short sword, is that it? Something like that. It is a moon short sword. So, a weapon I won't be using. Ah, uh, I got a feeling that's about it for around here. I don't think there's any other stairs around. Uh, I'm not going to keep going forwards into the world 3-3 three, three there to get that treasure because I'll almost certainly be invaded. Um, the reason for that is I'll, uh, an explanation for later. But for now we'll go back to the Nexus. And where is Maiden in Black? She's hiding. I don't know where she's gone. Well, I can deposit some stuff anyway. Thank good, I was. Uh, get rid of all these stones that I don't need. Jeez, I'm nearly back. <laughs> filled up. Uh, keep those. Get rid of that. We are indebted right, to you. Where are you? I'm obviously blind. I'm sure she's right in front of me somewhere. I just can't see her. There you are. Yes, I dust. Uh, that should let me... Actually, I'm not sure. What does that let me do? Yes, I should still be able to fast roll here. Alright. Now, in terms of Yurt, who's this? This wasn't here before. Is that the only one? I can't remember. Um, but, before we go any further, uh, yeah, there's another one there. Stories of the soul, and I think he's sitting up here somewhere. We get a couple of soul items, and there you are. Ooh, someone's message. Watch out. Ha! <laughs> Good one. I am indebted to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I would not have made it back to the Nexus. Now I can go on with my work. And for that, I must thank you. I didn't want that. I want to see if you had more dialogue. What is it? I have no business with you. Not yet. Do not be concerned. Life is hardly as precious as one might think. Oh, stop that. Life is hard. Ah, uh, uh, sinister voice and uh, rather ominous things he says. I don't think I ever would have actually figured out what he was on about if I hadn't looked it up. Can't look on him, obviously. Uh, but that's just me, because I'm not that smart. <laughs> uh, anyway, we definitely want to get rid of him. Well, what have we here? Do you wish to he's die probably going to kill me, soon? because uh, I think he's a bit smarter than me. Although I am hitting damn hard, which is good. Why you? Mephistopheles was right about you. Um, otherwise, as I mentioned, he will kill all your NPCs, and you don't want that. I had a feeling that might happen. Um, Ring of Herculean Strength. Gloom armor. He's kind of cool. Um, I think I was wearing it with my other character. It looks pretty good. I don't mind it. Uh, anyway, doing that will then, if you then get black character tendency, it will trigger the Mephistopheles side quest. But as I said, I'm not going to do that. Because I don't really feel like killing him. You don't kill anyone 
Like, I don't believe you kill either of these two. And you can't kill the Maiden in Black, as I understand it. If you kill her, she just respawns anyway, because... You need the Maiden in Black to finish the game. So, if they made it... Like, any other NPCs, if you kill Stockpile Thomas, or all your blacksmiths and all your merchants, you can still theoretically finish the game, even if you've made it hard for yourself. If you kill the Maiden in Black, you've made it impossible to finish the game. So I believe they made it so that you can't actually kill her permanently. She just Hello respawns again. and says okay. something like, Oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember. Look it up if you if you want to know. Uh, you have a heart of gold. However, what have I got? Ooh. Yeah, I've only got the level 3 bosses. 3-3-4-3-5-3. Three, 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 and then finish off world 1. I think I'm doing quite well at the moment. Uh, how much does the talisman weigh, actually? Yeah, I can use that. It's still good. That's pretty much all that, then. I guess my future level ups will probably have to go into vitality, because I don't think I have enough health. I'm doing quite a lot of damage. So I might not need to upgrade strength or dex anymore. But we'll see. Uh, whatever I decide to do, it will be in the next episode. So until then, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.